Welcome to Plutes Gaming. In this video I will show you how to produce P4 starting from P0. I will be showing you two different setups for this. One I call the min-max setup and one I call the lazy setup. This will work for broadcast nodes, recursive computing modules, and self-harmonizing power cores. You can also use this setup for nano factories, organic motor applicators, sterile conduits, and have spare plans for other production if you wish. You cannot make integrity response drones or wetware mainframe using this setup due to them require more extractor plants than what we will have available. In order to achieve this, you will need all three tunes trained in PI skills. Two tunes will be extractors and making the P1 and other tune will be factory planets, taking the P1 turning it into P4. For extractor tune, you will be required to have Science 4, Interplanetary Consolidation 5, Command Center Upgrades 5, and Remote Sensing 3, and at least Level 4 in Planetology and Advanced Planetology each although I recommend 5 in each for the planetology skills. For the factory tune, the only PI skills required are Interplanetary Consolidation 5 and Command Center Upgrades 5. You also need a hauler for this, and the episode is strongly recommended, which requires Galente Hauler 1 and Spaceship Command 3. It is strongly recommended you get Galente Hauler to 4 at least to make life easier. In this portion of the video, I will be telling you what to look for in plants, one of the most important things to look for in a planet is the radius. Ideally, I try to keep all my plants around 5,000 kilometers or lower for the radius. The next important thing to look for is resource density. You will want 40% or more. If you don't have these types of plants available to you, you will most likely need to use a lazy setup. Gas plants can be difficult to find with a low radius. I am currently using a gas plant with a radius of roughly 17,000 kilometers. But because the resource density is at 56% for ionic solutions, I am just barely able to pull the necessary extraction rate for the min-max setup. In this portion of the video, I will show you how to set up a planet for the min-max strategy. I already have a planet set up to save time. The first thing you will do is place a command center on the planet of your choice. Then once you've done that, upgrade it to the maximum. After you upgraded your command center, go ahead and place your first launch pad. After you place your first launch pad, go ahead and start placing your basic industry facilities. You need at least eight, but I like to do nine. Make sure they're as close together as possible. After you place all those basic industry facilities, place your second launch pad. After that, you can go ahead and place your extractor unit and then link it up to your second launch pad. You'll most likely have to upgrade the link. Once you've done that, you can go ahead and start placing your extractor heads. Your extractor heads will need to be pulling in at least 48,000 per hour for eight basic industry facilities, or for what I'm doing, which is nine, I will need to pull in at least 54,000 per hour. I have mine set for a 30 hour time, meaning I will need to pull in 1,620,000 for the whole cycle. Once you have that set up, you can go ahead and route your resource to the launch pad, the second launch pad. Once you've done that, you can go ahead and install your jobs. You install your jobs and you can route them all to your first launch pad. Once you've completed that, you can go ahead and route the basic resource from the incoming traffic to the basic industry facilities. And once that's done, that is all. And I will now show you how to do the lazy setup. This here is the lazy man setup. I already have it set up to save time. You will place your command center on the planet and upgrade it to the maximum, just like before. Then you'll place your first launch pad. And after you place your first launch pad, go ahead and place five basic industry facilities, keeping everything close together as possible to save on power when you link them together. Once you have that done, go ahead and place your second launch pad. Now, depending on your planet, you may be able to get two extractors or one. If you have it nice and set up close like this, you might be able to get two extractors with seven heads each, or in my case, eight and seven. If you're on a large planet, you may have to only use one extractor 
and move the extractor head farther away from your facilities. You may need to do this on say a gas plant which are generally large. If you are using this setup you will be required to have a P1 factory plant on your factory tune. In this portion of the video, I will be showing you how to set up a P1 factory plant for the lazy setup. It should be noted that a plant size of 8,000 or lower is required for this. First thing you do is place your command center on the planet, then you fully upgrade it to the maximum. After that, you can go ahead and start placing all your basic industry facilities. You will need 16 per planet, 4 per P1 we plan to make. Once you have the all place, you can go ahead and start placing your launch pads. These ones here at the bottom will be for imported raw materials. Once you have those ones placed, you can go ahead and place the top ones. These will be our export launch pads. All the P1s being made on this planet will go to either one of these launch pads. Once you have that done, you can go ahead and install your jobs. You'll use four basic industry facilities per P1 we're making. And two of the P1s will share a export launch pad. It should be noted that if you plan to use this setup, you would be required to have three P1 factory planets. In this portion of the video, I'll be showing you how to set up your advanced factory planet. This planet will be taking your P1s and turning them into P3s. It should be noted that in order to do this, you will need to find a planet with a radius of 8,000 kilometers or smaller. To start off, you place your command center, then fully upgrade it to the maximum. Then you start by placing your two import launch pads. Each one of these launch pads will have two P1s a set for the P2. Then you will place eight advanced factories for each of the launch pads, so a total of 16. These factories will be routed to these storage facilities where the material will wait to be going into the other advanced factory to be turned into P3s. Once you have all your advanced factories and storage facilities set up, you can go ahead and make the four last advanced factory. These four here will take the two P2s we made and turn them into a P3 and be routed to this launch pad here at the top. This will be our export launch pad where we will take the P3 and it'll be imported to the final planet to be turned into P4. This here is the high-tech production planet. It is actually set up just like the advanced factory planet with one difference. There's two high-tech plants here. This plant here will still produce the P1s to P3s, just like the advanced factory planet. But it will import the P3 into here, this launch pad right here. And this is where we will also import the other two P3s from the other two advanced factory planets to start producing the P4s. And you will also just have the P4s route right back into the import export launch pad. And that's it. You have your P4 production going. Have fun. Fly safe.